Good afternoon, good afternoon guys. Greetings from an extremely hot Seoul, South Korea. Are you melting? Melting. Melting. But we've got an exciting program for you today. What we're going to be doing is getting traditional Korean hanbok, taking it to the biggest palace here, Gyeongbokgung, touring around the palace. That How's that awesome. sound to you? Perfect. Let's do it. I can't wait to put on the hanbok, guys. It's like so much fun. But I'm a little bit worried. It's going to be so hot that I'm going to roast inside of it. So I'm going to try to choose a type of hanbok that is a little bit breezy. So guys, hanbok is traditional Korean clothing and it's for both men and women. And what's fascinating about this is that there is an extensive collection of hanbok, meaning that you can pick and choose your colors, your styles, anything you want. And I can't wait to try something, find something a little bit breezy that I'll be wearing today. So apparently the best stuff for the guys at least is on the third floor. So we are heading up one more floor and it's gonna be time to mix and match and try things on. You can choose your colors here apparently and I just asked for emerald green and gold. I'm going for the Wizard of Oz look. No, he's joking, he's going for this dress. <laughs> How about something not too hot? Not too hot? <laughs> yeah, you suggest? Or this, or this. Uh, I think I like this one. Uh, top or? Yeah, your outer. And now I guess I'm getting my bottle. I'm trying to go for <laughs> something breezy, man. I don't want to pass out before getting to a 7-Eleven, you know? Dude, I could chug a liter of anything right now if it was cold. All right, so let me show you again. So. Inner. This is the inner. Outer pants. Let's see if they fit. I've been eating a lot of food these days. Hand box Sam. What do you think, man? You look good, you look good. I like the colors. Look, I like it. I it, like ma it matches your like ginger it. hair. Way too hot to be wearing this today. But I mean, what can we do, right? <laughs> <laughs> and when you wear the traditional handbook, you're allowed into the palace for free, which is such a cool idea. Actually, the entrance fee is not that expensive anyways, but I mean it's just it's such a cool incentive. Get dressed up, go to the palace, have some fun. That's what we're gonna do. Dude, looking good in the hat. I look like a pilgrim. <laughs> <laughs> so basically what we did is we rented the gear, okay? Yeah. We have to return it all in one piece. If you don't return it in one piece, you buy it. Yeah. And yeah, we're just gonna go now straight to the palace. So guys, this is the National Folk Museum entrance. I believe it's more of a side entrance into Gyeongbokgung as well. So we're walking through here, making a right, making yep. a left, and we're inside the palace. So talk about being fortunate. As we're about to enter into the palace, there is a drumming performance going on. What did you think of the music? Oh my god, that was incredible. Isn't that what great? What a show. All right, so we are in Gyeongbokgung Palace, and the normal entrance fee without hanbok, if you're an adult, is 3,000 won, so about three US dollars. And we get in for free. Not only do we get in for free, but they don't even give us a printed ticket. It's like you got your hanbok on, you just automatically get in. Gotta love it. What do you think about the architecture? Man, I'm loving it. I've never seen architecture like this before in my life. I mean, it's yeah. so different. So this is more like stones than this yeah. bricks. And we have some blue tiles. And the blue tiles are really cool because yeah. there's a lot of detail work. I don't know what this means, but it's all the same. So a very nice symmetry here. This is like the main part of the palace. These are like the main rooms. The yeah, buildings yeah. with the rooms, right? So you have shutters, green shutters. Wow, like but it's scorching. It's scorching. scorching hot, but we're suffering here. We, we need to get an air-conditioned room. Uh, um, this is too much. <laughs> this is too, this much. too much. So right behind me is one of the most impressive viewpoints, vantage points in the entire temple you can't actually go and visit but you get some fantastic views and there's obviously a pond slash moat right in front of it so 
So we basically toured the palace impressions. Yeah, man. Stunning, stunning. Yeah. And what I think is the best part about this palace is that it's not just a historical site, yeah. it's an experience. You're like, yeah. dressed up. Uh, I highly recommend morning or late afternoon because I just saw some photos at night. Yeah. It looks super, super nice, all lit up. And uh, yeah, I think uh, I think we built up an appetite. I think I need some water. Yeah. Let's go have some dinner. We're going to chow down. Yeah, let's it's, do it's it. dinner. At, it's dinner. Dinner. It's dinner. Dinner time. <laughs> all right, let's go. Come up some of the. And the banchan has arrived, the Korean side dishes. Looks delicious. So we have three different banchans. Guys, originally thought we'd have time to get street food, but man, it was so hot. And we wanted to thoroughly explore Gyeongbokgung Palace, so we did just that. And so on the way back to our place, we found this kind of hole in the wall restaurant. Specializes in tongues, Korean stews. We placed two different orders. We've got galbi tongue, which is kind of a beef stew. We've got solong tongue with mandu, which is going to have the Korean dumpling. So two different kinds. We're probably both going to share. And my gosh, do we ever need this beer? Kas Mikju. Dude, cold Gum, beer, gambe. Oh, with this heat is so refreshing right now. Oh, oh my gosh, guys. I'm so excited to talk into my Galbi Tong. Aside from just the Tong, from the stew, check out the side dishes I have. Check out the Banchan. Over here, I've got kimchi. I've got like some, some greens here, spicy greens, and I've got the radish. Also comes with the rice. The rice always has a lid. I can't remember where I put it. Right here. This is like the most classic Korean thing ever. This is where rice usually comes in. These dishes like that. Just pop it off. And guys, can't forget the beer. Cheers, buddy. Mm. All right, so before I try the soup, I gotta show you what's in here. So check out this. Here's the galbi, here's the beef, here's the meat. So check out the big, check out the copious amounts of meat. You've got the bone here too. You have the, like, the glass noodles to go along with it. Fantastic. You know what else is in here? Well, we've got mushrooms too. Check out that. It looks like a shiitake style mushroom. And we have various like, uh, we have some onions and some green onions too. Look at that. So that's basically the, that's what's going on. So before I try the meat, before I try the mushrooms or anything else, let's try the broth first. Oh my gosh. So good, it's beefy, it's got lots of flavor, salty. Have some more of that. Mm. Oh yeah, that's what it's all about guys. That's why I'm back in Korea. When, it, when I found out I was coming back here, obsessing about the food for weeks on end, I was like, I'm gonna eat so well here. So what I'm gonna do is grab my chopsticks, pick this up, just take a bite That's of the meat. so fatty. Very, mm. <laughs> mm, oh yeah. Fatty in the middle. <laughs> mm. Mm. <laughs> I'm gonna do that for a while. He looks like a Scottish program. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, Tim. So good. Before I move on to the banchan, the side dishes, let's try some of those noodles. Mmm. Oh my god. Mmm. Noodles are really good, but they're also very chewy. Love those mushrooms too. Let's try some of the vegetables here. Look at that, guys. Mmm. Oh my god. This is fantastic. Like, I love Korean stews. I love Korean soups, whether it be a tongue or a jjigae. Enough rambling. I'm gonna try the side dishes. So I'm gonna grab a little bit of kimchi here. Take it like this. Plop it into my rice. Oh, I love Korean rice. Sticky. Mmm. This is some super potent kimchi. I think this is the spiciest kimchi we've had on the trip. No? Mm -hmm, I think so. Stop there, man. Grab some greens. Again, mix it with the rice. Really goes well together. Mm, that's amazing. I've even seen people go like this before, like put all their rice into their soup. It's kind of funny, man. <laughs> I don't want to do it, but we got, of course, Mukas Mik too. Very light, very cold, refreshing. Goes really well this meal. Overall, this has been delicious, man. Like Korean stews, Korean soup, bomb, man. Okay, dude, how's your soup? How's oh your God. how's your tongue? Your stew? I gotta say, I've been blown away every second here in Korea. Like for real, it's yeah. becoming one of my top foods of all time. I'm top three now. Yeah, yeah. It's and up there. I have the dumpling or wonton soup. Yeah, it's a mandu solong tongue. So the mandu is the Korean dumplings. Look at that giant behemoth, man. Mandu surantong. Oh, thing is huge. I know, it's so good. It's ridiculously big. And the best thing to do is just to get <laughs> yeah, here. <hack> it up. <laughs> yeah, just take a big bite, ready? Big old bite, yeah, go for it, dude. Wow. Mm, this isn't a regular dumpling or wonton. This is like... Mm, it's like king size. King size. It's, <laughs> it really is like the biggest wonton I ever had. And it's, it's like, so yummy. Look at the inside there. You have spring onions, you have some herbs, you have some pork. Yeah. Wow. Even though there's no spice, it's still freaking delicious. It's kind of fitting we're getting king size while we're wearing like a royal a, a royal handbook, huh? That was the point, right? <laughs> that was the point. <laughs> oh my god. 
<laughs> I'm in awe with this food. <laughs> All the banchan's good too, huh? Huh. Is your favorite the kimchi? I don't know, man. Spring onion is pretty amazing too. I mean, yeah. I'm all about veggies. Yeah. So, and the veggies here in Korea, I gotta say, they are the best I've ever had in my life. Yeah. Like, so, for real. For real. They're super fresh, super, super fresh. yummy, and you have so many. At, every time you eat, you get yeah. veggies. Yeah, yeah. You know what's so amazing about a place like this too? Is that, like, you know, you just walk around, you go down a back alley, you find a great restaurant. That's, yeah. what's, so, that's what Korea is all about. Yeah, because in Korea, if it's a bad restaurant, it goes out of business. Like, like that. that, like that, like that. And also, I didn't know this, but Sam was telling me when it's really hot outside, they'll yeah. eat stew, like yeah, super yeah. hot stew. So I'm like hot, and then I take it to another <laughs> yeah. level of hot. So you're supposed to sweat it out. You know, the, the way it's described is you're fighting fire with fire. Oh my god! <laughs> you know, it's, 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 a drag, it's like a dragon war. So. Anyways, the pasta was incredible. Then we yeah. came, we had the tongue. Yeah, with the tongue. Oh my gosh, galbi mm. tongue. So long tongue with mandu, delicious man. Korean stews, Korean soups are the best. Oh, they're so good. You gotta come and try them in Korea. Yeah, sure. I mean, I really loved it and the veggies. Yeah, super reasonably priced. Everything was under 10,000 won, so less than 10 US dollars. Yeah. I think it was eight and seven. So you're getting dishes with meat, really, really tasty. Tons of side dishes, you get your rice, grab a couple beers with that and you're set, man. Yeah. Game point match. <laughs> Ano another great day, another great meal here in Seoul, South Korea. Absolutely. And guys, you know what to do. If you've enjoyed this video, thumbs up, comment below, subscribe to both of us. Food and travel videos from South Korea coming soon. Peace. Peace.